Fokker, the renowned Dutch aircraft manufacturer, has a history of groundbreaking flight technology. However, they faced numerous financial issues and eventually went bankrupt in the early 90s. But something has changed, and Fokker is back as Fokker Next Gen with a big plan, ready to shock everyone. So, what happened? To answer this, we first need to go back to the start. Founded in 1912, Fokker has a history of innovations that changed the aviation industry. Innovations, such as the Fokker DR-1 triplane, gained fame during World War I, especially due to its association with the German flying ace Manfred von Richthofen, widely known as the Red Baron. The distinctive three-wing design made it easily recognizable. Or the Fokker F-27 Friendship, which was a pioneer in the field of regional aviation, being one of the first purpose-built turboprop-powered airliners, it played a crucial role in connecting smaller airports and regions that were not economically viable for larger jet aircraft. Both planes have had a lasting impact on the industry. Now, the exciting news is that Fokker is back as Fokker Next Gen, with a big plan that is both daring and set to be groundbreaking. However, it also raises questions about their potential success in revolutionizing flying and the risks involved. But what is their big plan? Well, under the name Fokker Next Gen, the company is setting out on a big goal to make a jetliner that runs entirely on hydrogen, and it's a big deal. You see, hydrogen fuel has significant potential for aircraft due to its high energy density, which allows for efficient energy storage and delivery. When used as a fuel source, hydrogen combustion produces only water vapor, making it a clean and environmentally friendly option. This is crucial for the aviation industry's efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, its versatility makes it suitable for various aircraft types, offering long-range capabilities and potential improvements in endurance. So, as you have probably guessed by now, this project, once completed, will change the aviation industry forever. Now, the project is making good progress thanks to partners like the Fokker Services Group and a lot of help from the Dutch government which has given 25 million euros to the attempt. Fokker's bold plan aims at changing its Fokker 100 planes so that they can run on liquid hydrogen, sustainable aviation fuel called SAF, kerosene, or a mix of the two. The project started by converting a Fokker 100 plane to use liquid hydrogen as fuel. This plane was the project's test bed for the revolutionary clean and green plane. With a lot of money secured and billions more on the horizon, Fokker Next Gen CEO Jurian Kellerman is excited about the intensive ground tests that will be done to prove that the groundbreaking plan to make 150 units per year is possible. Once the ground tests are over and done successfully, the project will move on to the next step, where another plane of the same type will be converted and equipped with engines that can use this sustainable fuel source. Now obviously the project is far from ready, but unlike other ambitious projects, Fokker Next Gen seems to have it all mapped out. The Dutch manufacturer wants to have a clear idea of what the future of passenger planes will be like by 2027. Fokker wants to finish the project review by 2030 using what they've learned from test flights. Production of the first test parts will start in 2032, and the goal is to have the vehicle entry into service, EIS, by 2035. If we go a bit in depth, it will look something like this in the next few years. 2027 will be the end of the conceptual design part of the project, which is marked by a preliminary design review. This conceptual design study was inspired by the Cavendish experiment, which is being led by Rolls-Royce. Its study aims to integrate a test engine running on liquid hydrogen into a Fokker 100. In 2028, the business hopes to conduct its maiden test flight which might seem that it can take a while, but you have to understand that environmentally friendly flying is still very new. In fact, getting to SAF and green flight is a process that takes time, which shows how far off the future of environmentally friendly flying seems. Fortunately, the EU Council has passed groundbreaking laws that will help promote environmentally friendly air travel in Europe. This groundbreaking law makes it possible for sustainable aircraft fuels like renewable hydrogen to play a key role in lowering carbon emissions in the aviation industry. As a result of this rule, renewable hydrogen 
is made an important part of environmentally friendly aircraft fuels, and it will start sooner than you think. Starting in 2025, aviation fuel sellers working in EU airports will have to make sure that all fuel they sell to airlines has a minimum SAF share. This share will steadily rise, hitting 2% in 2025, 6% in 2030, and an amazing 70% by 2050. This gives the project's schedule strong support. But getting hydrogen SAFs to work isn't going to be easy. First, there is the matter of energy density. When compared to regular aircraft fuels, hydrogen has less volumetric energy content. This means that storage tanks need to be bigger, which can add weight and possibly affect how well an airplane works. Cryogenic storage is another problem that needs to be solved. Hydrogen needs to be stored at very low temperatures, around negative 253 degrees Celsius or negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit. This requires complex storage systems and protection, and it's possible that energy will be lost due to heat transfer. Setting up the necessary infrastructure is a huge job that includes making hydrogen production sustainable, making sure transportation is safe, and making sure airports can fill quickly. Safety worries are also valid since hydrogen is very flammable and can catch fire in a wide range of temperatures. Handling and keeping rules must be followed carefully. Adding hydrogen to current aircraft systems makes them more complicated and usually means making big changes or creating whole new engine designs. Cost is very important because making sustainable hydrogen can be very expensive and it must be able to compete with standard aviation fuels. Along with that, big investments are needed to build up facilities. Still, optimism stays strong for a strong company like Fokker, which has successfully navigated the complicated worlds of military and civilian aviation. Let's think about the creative ideas that Fokker might come up with to deal with these problems, even though we may not be Fokker's engineers. One new idea is to make hydrogen's energy density higher. This would allow for smaller storage tanks, less weight, and better fuel economy for airplanes. Such a big step forward would be this. Using cutting-edge cryogenic storage technology could make liquid hydrogen storage devices much more efficient by cutting down on energy loss by a large amount. Along with this, the aviation environment may change in ways that involve investing in long-term hydrogen production and setting up safe airport refueling systems. To deal with the unique problems that come with hydrogen, safety could be taken to a whole new level with better ways to find leaks, put out fires and store hydrogen. Lastly, the goal of making hydrogen generation cleaner and cheaper, which is in line with the goals of the Dutch government. So why would the return of the new Fokker hydrogen aircraft be so important? Well. The most important thing about this revival is cutting-edge technology. You see, Fokker is leading the way in a paradigm shift by promoting hydrogen as a sustainable aviation fuel. This fits in perfectly with the worldwide drive to make the skies cleaner and better for the environment. Fokker's unwavering commitment to sustainability and lowering carbon pollution is a turning point in an industry that is becoming more and more concerned with being environmentally friendly. Additionally, the Dutch government has backed this project with a strong financial backing through a large 25 million euros grant. Obviously, 25 million euros won't suffice for manufacturing a new aircraft with substantial research and development requirements. Additional investments in the billions will be necessary to achieve the goal of producing 150 units annually on the final assembly line. However, according to Jurian Kellerman, the CEO of Fokker Next Gen, this objective is viewed as realistic, as mentioned to Luchtwart News over the weekend. Still, 25 million euros will not only help the project, but it also shows how committed the government is to environmentally friendly flying. But that's not all. Fokker has also formed strategic relationships with major players in the industry, such as the Fokker Services Group. This shows how the aviation industry is working together to lead the way in developing hydrogen-powered planes, but what makes this story stand out is Fokker's clever way of doing it. Instead of starting from scratch, the company is smartly converting an existing Fokker 100 plane to run on hydrogen. 
This is an example of a resourceful strategy that makes the most of what is already available for a sustainable future. Lastly, the effects on the economy are huge. Fokker's return could give the Dutch aerospace industry a big boost, creating jobs and helping to advance cutting-edge, environmentally friendly aircraft technologies. The release of the new Fokker hydrogen aircraft clearly marks the start of a major shift in the flying world. They're not just making a comeback, this is a huge step into the future. But what do you think? Would you want to fly the new Fokker hydrogen plane when it arrives? Let us know in the comments below.